Hey guys, welcome back. And yep, another KitchenAid. Um, here we've got a Model 3B that uh, you can see it's. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's uh, you know got a lot of wear on the paint up here and and all that. But um, you know this is getting uh, um, done and it's going to be pink, like a pastel pink with with black. Um, we'll polish the the top of the handle here, but the rest of this will all be black. And um, we're gonna go ahead. I got plugged in. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on and see if this thing runs. Okay, that seemed kind of sketchy. Okay, so it seems like when the switch works, it will actually turn on and, and go through the speeds, but the switch is acting a little sketchy there, so uh, it could just be dirt or whatever too, so um, you know, that's something that we'll, we'll take care of when we take it apart. And we're going to have this entire thing disassembled here. So, why don't we start by taking off the things that are attached to it and check our brushes. Alright, brushes look decent. They're probably about three quarters of the way intact. Yeah, we've got a broken brush cap here, so we're going to have to deal with that. I'll have to dig through my parts to see if I have a brush cap for this, and then I'll have to order one up. Hmm. Ah, there's enough left where I can barely get a screwdriver in there. the same. Put side by side. Yeah, they're the same length. Alright, so that's good. Alright, so now I get this off, which is always a little tricky. Not sure how I can best show this to you guys, but um, to get this off, this will come off, but the handle's in the way, right, so we have to get the handle off. There's two screws underneath here to hold this handle on. But they're underneath to get them. We gotta take off this front piece here, and it's kind of hooked here, and it's hooked here. And the only way I know of to get it out is actually that there's a little tiny pin here that we gotta drive out. And that's always a, a, a fun prospect to try to drive that out because it's hard to find something small enough to get in there. Um, I do feel a tiny little bit of it poking out on this side, but not enough to get a grip on with anything. Well, maybe it is. Yeah, probably not. Alright, so I've got our smallest punch here. Beat on it with a hammer. Alright, All right, it's moved a little bit. That's about all of this punch that I can fit into that hole. There we go. And you can see here, you know, the size of this thing is just tiny. You see this right here will now come off. At least enough to you can loosen these screws here. Once you loosen up these screws here, you can get that off. And you can see the front of this is just stainless, so we can just polish that up. Now we get our handle off of here. One with the two screws. If you notice, 
you know, there's one screw down here and one is up on this step here. So you got two different size screws. Alright, so now we can take our knob off, which just pops right off. And this right here, I'll show you guys how this hooks on here, but you just push it forward and then it lifts right off. You see this little tab right here? This hooks underneath here. So like when you put it back on, put it on, just push it back until your screw holes line up in the front. And then this piece right here also comes off, which we take off, you know, when we powder coat it that way it's you know completely coated. Basically just bend the tabs on it, take and pop it off. And obviously now we can coat this and, and all of this can get coated here. Alright, now let's see if we can see what's going on with our switch here. show you guys this here if I can. Okay, I can give you guys a good view of this switch here now. Um, if you look right here, this is the switch right there. And when I move this here, you'll see this little lever right there engage the switch. All right, so it seems like there's definitely a good positive engagement on the actual switch part of it. So the fact that it was being a little sketchy just leads me to believe that the inside of the switch is probably dirty and the contacts aren't making good contact on it. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, once we get all apart, we'll just make sure we clean that switch out really good so that the contacts are, are clean in there. Alright, so let's continue with the tear down on here. Get our back cover off. screw underneath there they take out you can take your back cover off and here you can see the whole speed control assembly all the parts associated with it and everything is held together in here with wire nuts um, you can see some sketchy wiring right here already everything is color coded in here too uh, like if I look at this one here you got a cloth wrapped wire. I mean, look how look at the shape of that. I don't know if you guys can see this here. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. You see right here, I mean I just pulled on that and it's kind of just disintegrating. So that's gonna definitely have to be rewired there. Um, let's see how are these other ones doing. seems alright, that one seems alright, and that one seems alright. So, so far it's just that one yellow one there. But we'll have to go through and just replace whatever wires. This one right here, right away, I can see there's tape on here, which isn't a good sign. I mean, it doesn't even look like electrical tape. So this is covering up something. And it's covering up a break in the wires coating there. So this wire will have to be fixed. So it's kind of a good thing this thing came in for to get taken apart. Okay, and these look like red and yellow, so I may have been off about being color coded. I guess this one isn't. Oh, see this one's crunchy as well. Let's see I can do the exact same thing with that. Let's check the rest of these. That one seems good. That one seems good. And that one seems good. Alright, so we do got a couple wires. I'm not sure what they go to yet, but we'll definitely have to replace those. They may be uh, capacitor leads. As a matter of fact, I've Okay, so now we determined that you know, some of this wiring needs to be replaced. Uh, 
or these leads need to be covered up on this capacitor here, which is, it just seems like that's all that is. It's not as bad as I suspected. It just leads to the capacitor. They put a uh, they, they just put a coating on there, so it's not an actual wire. I'll show you in a second here. Our speed control. Our contacts are right here. Uh, they're still intact. Alright, here's a capacitor. So this just has wire leads coming out of it. It looks like they just. Nope, this did have a coating on it. This did have insulation on it. Alright, so we'll just take these off here and just cover that with heat shrink. I got some small heat shrink that we can put on there to cover up these leads, being that these are pretty difficult to find. But anyways, that's that issue. Let's see if we can get our our little fly weight off of here. go. This one actually popped right off. And the pin. Make sure we don't lose that pin. Alright, we'll take this around. Make sure you guys can see. I'm going to pull this planetary off here. And I'm just going to find the slot and the screw. Seems to be full of crud. There we go. Got to clean it out enough to get our screwdriver head in there. All right. Now let's pull our planetary down. Easier said than done. As it seems to be on there pretty good. Sometimes these come right off, and sometimes they really get bound on here. I'm sure this thick layer I'm scraping off here doesn't help any. Okay, there's one washer. And there's our other washer. There, nice. Maybe that will help. Alright, you can see everything is pretty nasty in here, all dried up, crunchy. I mean, I gotta pretty much scrape it off of here. So that's not doing anything any good at all. There's a wick down in here. I've got to try and get out. 
normally I don't reuse these wicks. I mean, just the fact that, you know, it's a, a wick that's supposed to soak up grease and wick it into the shaft in here. Uh, doesn't, well, they never come out in one piece anyways. Um, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you just, you know, pack that with grease in there. Yeah, this is going to take some serious scraping out to get all this out of here. Grease has turned into like cement. I mean, I probably got some flour dust in there mixed in with it too. Which certainly don't help. Let's see if we can find a slot and a screw here. There we go. Okay, is this little screw here? That holds the top of this gear on, or this gear to the top of the shaft here. But the gear seems to be stuck. There we go. And it's got a little slot in the bottom that fits over a, a little pin here. So let's get this little pin out of there. Now we can take this out. Make sure we get our washer off of there, though. Alright, so now we can get our little shaft out of here, and this is where the uh, attachment goes in. And you can see that's pretty grungy there, that's going to have to get cleaned up. And same with this, I mean, it's going to have to get scraped out and degreased. Probably more scraping than degreasing on this one. Alright, and there was one more washer that went right on here. Make sure we keep that these parts too. These aren't so bad, um, you know, as far as you know your your parts, keep track of your parts and washers and all that. If you're unsure when you're doing one, just make sure you take photos of it. All right, so now we're gonna try and get this off here, and these are usually pretty difficult to get off. I mean, there's four screws that hold them on, but. This is usually stuck up in there pretty good and it's hard to get out. I see these screw slots are packed full of crap here too. So that's a good thing this thing's getting redone. I mean, all this crap that's in here, no telling how old it is, and you know, you don't want to be using it and vibrating it off of there and you know, having it drop down in whatever food you're mixing up. I mean, you don't really want to be eating food debris that's you know, years old. Yeah, there's a ton of, of this old grease on here that's just going to be scraped right off of there. Look at that. It's like pretty thick varnish on there. And that's another thing that these are just going to be kind of tough to get off. I think we're going to have to take a heat gun to this to get that off. But let me see. Maybe not. Maybe we'll get lucky. Nope. Nope. All right. Let's take our pin out. Get it out of the way right now. Break out the heat gun.
Okay, our main reason for heating this up is not so much to expand this metal here, um, because we'd have to do you know a lot more heating. This is basically it's a giant heat sink, so that would take quite a bit of heating up to do. But as you can see, how we just softened up this varnish on here, that's basically our our goal is to soften it up enough in between here for this to come out. All right, let's see where we go here. All right, planetary assembly is out, along with a big blob of grease that came out with it. You see this grease is pretty softened up from the heat that we put on it, um, but it's still kind of rubbery yet. Anyway, it's, it's nasty, it's stinky, it's KitchenAid grease. Um, it's just nasty stuff, you know, and I, I always talk about that when I got to get into one of these kitchen aids about how nasty this grease is. Um, it's a little easier to handle, like I said, right now that it's uh, heated up, but it's still pretty nasty. Um, right now I'm covered in grease, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this gear out. Well, let me get, let me get cleaned up here quick. Now, I'll take this gear out right here. There we go. It should just pop right out. Make sure the washer's with it. Put this washer right where it came off of. Because I don't lose count on these. Alright, see now this right here can get degreased. This thing's pretty nasty. This is every other part of this. Alright, we've also got this gear here. And the part, you know, that came with it. And it's got this uh, bearing too. This is an actual bearing. That goes with that. A big blob of grease on here. Got grease falling everywhere. Let me dispose of that. All right. Now yeah, with these kitchen aids, man, I go through so much paper towel. I said grease gets everywhere. Alright. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna try to scrape some grease out of here. And uh then I'll come back. Alright, so done with that part for now. Let's rotate this around. So I take some of this other stuff apart. Make sure you guys can see what's going on here. I'm going to take 
take our switch out here. Switch has got you know one leg obviously hooks hooks to you know the coil there. The other one goes to a uh, clip that's on the um, uh, brush holder down here. So once we get everything out of there, uh, we get down inside of that and, and pop that clip off. All right, and now we've got now this part back here. Um, let's see if you guys can see. Try to rotate it here some for you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull this resistor off as soon as I can find a slot for the screwdriver. Okay, so now we get a resistor off and out of the way. And now we've got these two screws here that got to come out. start guiding this out we just gotta watch we've got our spring up here and also the uh, the lever the spring I think I'm going to just send send back inside the machine now and once we get to the end here we gotta just lift this up so that we can clear clear that lever from this plate here there we go all right now, I should be able to just pull this off. And you see that's pretty nasty here, but this right here has got four screws that hold this on so you can get to this bearing and the wick and everything there and clean that, or the bushing, and we'll get that all cleaned up. Um, you know, and then we clean this plate up and everything too. It looks like there's quite a bit of carbon up in there. Let's get out our armature. Really no wear on it. It just needs to be polished up. And then this is kind of like a spacer. It just keeps that, uh, that plate and everything from going back too far. All right, so now that we are in here, um, let's see if I can show you the cord connections. I don't know if you can see inside here or not, but anyways, Cord connections should come right out here. Yep, there we go. There's a wire nut for one. But there's one. Alright, here's the other. Now the wire itself sounds pretty crunchy, so. Trying to see which wire is that. I assume it's probably just casing on the cord. Well, maybe not. Anyway, there's our cord. The wire on the cord actually seems to be pretty good. Well, yeah, maybe not. Some of it is kind of stiff, some of it's not, so. I'm sure it's uh, well on its way out. So let's pull some cord through so we can cut off this restraint. There. Now that the restraint off, we'll pull our cord through. There's a little plastic sleeve that goes in here and that just fell down through. It usually does once I pull this cord out. Alright, cord's out of the way. Now, Let's get our switch out of the way here. Um, I'm going to pull that clip 
off of the uh, brush holder here. There we go. And you can see that's all it is. It just slips down on the brush holder. And uh, the switch is riveted together. It don't come apart. So we're going to have to just blast some cleaner down in there and get it cleaned out really good. Let's get our field coil out of here. holder clip that we had to get off here because this one will attach to actually we could probably get it later because I think believe it attaches to this wire so let's get our fuel coil out first there we go there's the fuel coil See, we check all our wiring here. Make sure everything's good. Now our clip off this brush holder should, should be a lot easier to get to. There we go. All right, we'll set that aside. Now we can take out this entire lever assembly. along with the spring. Set that aside. Alright. I don't know what you can't see back in there, but there's also a, a bushing in there that's got four screws that hold it, hold it into place. You know, along with the... Uh, um, I'm not sure if that one had a wick or not. I don't think that one's got a wick. But it, it holds the bushing in place, so we can just take that plate off and get the bushing out of there. And get that all cleaned up. brush holders out. Yeah, this brush holders pieces just came out. Um, yeah, this is like the shoulder on it. it. The shoulder just is completely gone on it. But uh, I think we got another one we can replace that with. So and these, of course, have to be cleaned up. They're all carboned up. All right. So I think I need to. Uh, do something all these parts here, get them out of the way before we can go any further on this, so I'll be right back. Alright, so now that we've got this pretty much gutted, I think we go ahead and we can take the stand, take the motor off the base here. Alright, so we've got everything out of here, all the gears and everything. We've just got to do some serious degreasing in there. And on here, we've just got, we got to take out our feet. Uh, take out you know, the screws back here. There's, there's a, a screw that adjusts your height. And then there's a bolt in here. 
that holds a steel spring in there that keeps tension on it. Um, and then these three screws here, we're going to pull that out, and this will be ready to get uh, stripped and powder coated. So we're going to come back and we'll get everything ready to go, and uh, you know, after we get everything cleaned up, polished up, um, get all this stripped down, and get it all powder coated, and uh, probably after we get everything back together. So we'll see in a bit.
So we got this one all wrapped up now everything but the feet I do have feet on order I've got like I ain't enough feet coming to do five of these um, but they're on the way right now and uh, as soon as they're on that'll be the last touch on here um, give you guys a look at this and see if you can see the handle on here we got that polished up and re-lettered and uh, the way that I did that was I just basically uh, sprayed it black and then just wet sanded it down and it left the, the black in the lettering so that looks really good. Uh, we did polish up the knob and re-lettered that. I mean it's hard to, to tell. I mean the, the, they're, they're barely indented in there and uh, the knob was even with polishing. It, it didn't shine up like new but it still looks better. And then uh, down here I tried to do the lettering down here but you can see it didn't come out very well because it's very faintly stamped in there, but that I also uh, sprayed that black and then uh, tried to wet sand it out. But um, anyways, it left the, the black in here, and then you know this of course is redone in black. These were like nasty. I mean, I really had to pry those apart. They were stuck together so bad. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and let's turn this thing on and give this a listen to here. See, it runs good through all the gears and everything. This one, you know, this one ran decent before too, um, but it just looks better now. So, anyways, this one is a wrap. Other than the feet, as soon as the feet get in, I'll get them put on there, and uh, this one will be ready to get get on its way back to the owner as well. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it, because if not, I'll know you're knowing. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell down there so uh, you can get notified when we post another video. Um, you know, we got uh, oh, we got a couple things coming up. I'm not quite sure what's coming up next, but um, it'll be a surprise for you guys when when it gets posted because it'll be a surprise for me because I don't even know which one I'm, I'm working on next. But anyways, uh, we'll check them out when we get to them. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.